Adobe introduced interactions, which are basically widgets with higher functionality in Adobe Cat Bait version 6. In version 7, they've added several new interactions and modified some of the existing interactions. One of my favorite interactions is the ability to add notes to a Captivate presentation. The notes that you add will allow learners to type comments to themselves or notes as they work through your lesson. Should the learner close the lesson and reopen the lesson, the notes will still be there slide by slide by slide. Check it out. I'll show you how to insert them. I'll go to the insert menu and I'll choose interactions. That's going to bring up the slide interaction dialog box. Like I said, there are several new interactions in Captivate version 7 and you can see the new ones with the green new on them. I'll scroll through the list of interactions that I see and you can see there are several of them and then I'll get to some interactions that have updated on them. Those are interactions that existed in Captivate version 6 and Adobe has improved them, enhanced them, stabilized them. I'm going to find the notes interaction and I'll press enter on my keyboard to insert it. That's going to bring up the configure interaction dialog box. What I typically do is just accept the defaults and click OK. It is worth noting that if you use the default notes icon, you'll end up with a note that has this look and feel to it. If you don't like that look and feel, you can choose transparent icon and drop the note on top of an image you've already put onto your slide. But like I said, I'm going to go with the default note icon. It is worth noting the tips at the bottom of the dialog box. You need to put the note at the top of the timeline. You need to make sure the note's timing is set to rest of project. And you don't want to resize the note or add effects. Doing either of those will affect the performance and the look and feel of the note. I'm going to click OK and that inserts the note on this first slide. I'm going to drag it to the upper right of my slide and just like the warning said I'm going to set the timing to rest of project. I'm going to confirm that on my timeline the object is in the topmost position. All I have to do now is publish it which I've already done. I'm going to switch to the published version of this lesson. I'm playing this lesson through Google Chrome and here's the note. I'm going to click the note which brings up a note area where I'll type my note. Simple enough. If the learner doesn't want the note all they have to do is click the X to delete it and confirm. Again the learner can add notes slide by slide by slide and should the learner close the lesson and return to the lesson later, the note will still be there for them.